Image Processing and Computer Unit 2 According to RGPV Exam 2023 Notes are in Description Box. What are the Image Representation and Description? In computer vision, image representation and description refer to the process of extracting features and characteristics from an image and converting them into a format that a computer can process and understand. There are different representation schemes and boundary descriptors used in image processing. Representation schemes refer to the methods used to extract features from an image, which are then used to describe or identify the image. Some of the most common representation schemes include 1. Pixel-based representations. This involves using the raw pixel values of an image as its feature vector. 1. This is a simple but effective way to represent an image, although it can be sensitive to changes in illumination and image noise. 2. Frequency-based representations. This involves converting an image into the frequency domain using techniques like Fourier transforms. 2. The frequency domain representation can be used to identify patterns or textures in an image. 3. Texture-based representations. This involves using statistical methods to extract texture features from an image. 3. Texture features describe the variation in intensity or color in different regions of an image. 4. Shape-based representations. This involves using geometric methods to extract shape features from an image. 4. Shape features describe the boundaries and contours of objects in an image. Boundary descriptors are a type of shape-based representation that describe the edges and boundaries of objects in an image. There are several types of boundary descriptors, including 1. Chain codes. This involves encoding the boundary of an object as a sequence of directions that the boundary takes at each pixel. 2. Fourier descriptors. This involves representing the boundary of an object as a sum of cosine and sine waves. 3. Curvature scale space. This involves representing the boundary of an object as a series of curves that describe the shape of the boundary at different scales. Boundary descriptors are commonly used in tasks such as object recognition, image retrieval, and image segmentation. What is region descriptors binary machine vision? In binary machine vision, image segmentation refers to the process of dividing an image into different regions or segments based on its features or characteristics. Region descriptors are methods used to describe the characteristics of these segmented regions. Some common region descriptors used in binary machine vision include thresholding. Thresholding is a simple and commonly used technique for image segmentation in binary machine vision. It involves converting a grayscale or color image into a binary image by selecting a threshold value that separates the foreground pixels from the background pixels. The threshold value can be selected manually or automatically based on the image histogram. There are several types of thresholding techniques, including global thresholding, adaptive thresholding, and Atsu's method. Global thresholding involves using a fixed threshold value for the entire image, while adaptive thresholding adjusts the threshold value for each pixel based on the local image intensity. Atsu's method is an automatic thresholding technique that selects the threshold value that maximizes the separation between the foreground and background pixels. Segmentation Segmentation is the process of dividing an image into multiple regions or segments, each of which corresponds to a specific object or part of an object. Segmentation is a crucial step in image analysis and is used for tasks such as object recognition, image enhancement, and image compression. There are several techniques used in image segmentation, including thresholding, edge-based segmentation, region-based segmentation, and clustering-based segmentation. Thresholding involves converting a grayscale or color image into a binary image based on a selected threshold value. Edge-based segmentation involves detecting edges in an image and using them to define the boundaries of objects. Region-based segmentation involves dividing an image into regions based on pixel intensity, texture, or other image features. Clustering-based segmentation involves grouping pixels into clusters based on their similarity in color or intensity. Connected component labeling Connected component labeling is a technique used to identify and label individual objects or regions in a binary image. It involves finding all connected pixels in the image that belong to the same object and assigning a unique label to each object. 
Connected component labeling is commonly used in image processing tasks such as object recognition, feature extraction, and object tracking. There are several algorithms used for connected component labeling, including the two-pass algorithm, the one-pass algorithm, and the recursive algorithm. The two-pass algorithm involves two passes through the image to identify and label the connected components. The one-pass algorithm is a more efficient algorithm that only requires one pass through the image. The recursive algorithm is a recursive implementation of connected component labeling that uses a stack or recursion to identify and label connected components. In summary, region descriptors in binary machine vision involve various techniques such as thresholding, segmentation, and connected component labeling, which are used for tasks such as image analysis, object recognition, and feature extraction. These techniques are important tools for a range of applications in fields such as computer vision, robotics, and medical imaging. What are motion-based segmentation? Area extraction? Motion-based segmentation. Motion-based segmentation is the process of separating moving objects from the background in video sequences. It involves detecting and tracking the motion of objects over time and using this information to segment them from the background. There are several techniques used in motion-based segmentation. 1. Optical flow. Optical flow is a technique that estimates the motion of objects by analyzing the movement of pixels between consecutive frames. 1. It can be used to detect the motion of small objects and is often used in real-time applications. 1. However, optical flow can be sensitive to noise and can result in inaccurate motion estimates. 2. Background subtraction. Background subtraction is a technique that separates moving objects from the background by subtracting a reference frame from the current frame. 2. It can be used to detect larger objects and is often used in surveillance systems. 2. However, background subtraction can be affected by changes in illumination and can result in false detections due to shadows or reflections. 3. Region-based methods. Region-based methods involve dividing the image into regions and analyzing the motion of each region. 3. This method can be used to detect complex objects and can be more robust to changes in illumination. 3. However, region-based methods can be computationally expensive and may require manual initialization. Once the motion-based segmentation has been performed, the segmented regions can be analyzed and measured. Area Extraction Area extraction is the process of extracting and measuring the areas of segmented regions obtained through segmentation techniques. Here are some common concepts, data structures, and algorithms used in area extraction. 1. Edge detection. Edge detection involves detecting the edges of objects in an image, which can be used to identify the boundaries of the segmented regions. 2. Line linking. Line linking involves linking together edge segments to form complete lines or contours, which can be used to represent the boundaries of the segmented regions more accurately. 3. Huff transform. The Huff transform is a technique used to detect lines or curves in an image by transforming the image space into a parameter space. 3. It can be used to detect the boundaries of the segmented regions and to extract features such as the length and orientation of lines. 4. Line fitting. Line fitting involves fitting a line to a set of edge segments, which can be used to represent the boundaries of the segmented regions more accurately. 5. Curve fitting. Least square fitting. Curve fitting involves fitting a curve to a set of data points, which can be used to represent the boundaries of the segmented regions more accurately. 5. Least square fitting is a common technique used for curve fitting, which involves minimizing the sum of the squared errors between the curve and the data points. Once the segmented regions have been extracted, their areas can be measured using various methods such as pixel counting, contour integration, and moment-based methods. These area measurements can be used for tasks such as object tracking, object recognition, and motion analysis in video sequences.